Hey you guys, I am back with a haul. Yes, I know, another haul. What am I doing? From uh, Super Tarts, who, this is my second order. The owner is Brandy Williams. Um, I So far I have been really impressed with everything that I've got from Super Tarts. I've melted maybe three or four things now. The, the throw on them has always been really good. The blends have smelled great. Um, and pretty much I just haven't found anything bad about Super Tarts at all. So she sends you the order, comes with the invoice. Um, you get a temporary tattoo. So mine right here is Superman. And then she also sends you this card, you know, thank you for your super order. And I really like that she's got a drawing, um, I think it looks like Captain America that our kids did over there. And she recommends also to do, uh, to melt hers in a 24 watt hot plate. I believe she's a para soy blend, but I think she has more, more paraffin. Somebody can correct me if I am wrong there. So the first thing, um, this is kind of going to be like an unbagging. I mean, I haven't gone through these, so we're going to be discovering it together. So this is what was on the top of the box. This was a free. Thank you so much, Brandy. Definitely much appreciated. That looks like a really nice, um, it does look like a sugar cookie. Like if this was a tan color, that would be a sugar cookie right there. And this one is an ice, lemon ice cream cake. Really good. That is a really, really nice lemon. Yeah, that's a delicious lemon. And um, another thing about Super Tarts is she also does, you know, the Super Pans. And I have, you know, I have one of them on my first haul and she's taking orders uh, for custom orders. So you sign up on her Facebook group page list. So I'm also really glad to get this because now I can, you know, probably sniff everything and maybe get some inspiration for some blends I would want to do. And I love her pans. I adore them. I think they're so, she gets to be so creative with them. And I have not seen any other vendor do the pan yet. Um, I don't think. I mean, I could I could be wrong. But I kind of think that she's taken that pan and made it one of her signature items from Super Tart. So definitely a big fan of that. And can't wait to get that custom order, too. But it'll probably be at least a couple weeks or a month or two. All right. So I want to get into these bags. Like I said, we're going to discover them together. So you know, if you guys want to get an idea of what her packaging is like, um, i got to take off this curling ribbon. Scissors would be easier, but I don't have any right now. All right. Just try to take that off right there. And uh, I feel always feel bad ripping into nice people's nice packaging because I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh ooh, okay, flapping everything around. So let's see what is in this one right here. So it looks like here I got Snickerdoodle pancakes. And this is the one thing that's kind of bad about doing like an unboxing or something is you have to sit here and watch as I unbag things and make a whole lot of noise. So this one is Snickerdoodle pancakes. Oh, that's so cute with the skull in there. Yeah, that's her. Oh, and there's like a little bit of like a cinnamon bun in there too. So cute. Two colored red glitter all around, even red glitter on the bottom and the top. Oh, wow, that's really good. Mm, what is a snickerdoodle again? Is that like a maple-y kind of chocolatey thing? That's really delicious. That's really, really good. Um, I may have to try to cut that up. Oh, I'm going to have to cut that up into two mouths because that hunk of thing is ginormous. All right, here's the next one. This is in Strawberry White Cake, which is um, one of the fragrance oils that I really like. And I was eager to try her, so it looks like a Captain America type of one, three colored. That is a really good Strawberry White Cake. It smells very similar to another vendor, Strawberry White, white Cake, who, um, who I also really love. Very nice. That is perfect Strawberry White Cake. Wow, I'm really looking forward to melting that one for sure. I don't think her tarts need a whole lot of cure time, if I remember correctly, or they almost maybe need no cure time. I'm not exactly sure, um, but I can probably dig into these pretty good. Oh, sorry. Got another strawberry white cake. Yeah, that's good. You know what? This, to me, smells like a fresh-picked strawberry scent in here with the cake. Now that I'm smelling it, this is probably the, my favorite strawberry scent that I've ever smelled. I really like that. That's... It's like, you can get the, I know that the strawberry cake, but it smells more strawberry to me. I'm actually um, really intrigued by that one. So this next one here is the, what does she call these? I mean, it's a clamshell, but she calls them, I think, a super snap. So this one is in Wildberry Cotton Candy Frosting. And also, so you guys know, obviously with super snaps, you can see that it doesn't come in the clamshell plastic container. And I'm fine with that because I think storing this, I can probably store it easier. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room. And I know some people have been saying that with clamshells they sometimes get like a plastic smell I don't think I ever have but if you're worried about that then this is a way to get like the clamshell shape without the plastic um, in it and this is Wildberry cotton candy frosting that's really really nice it's a perfect um, Wildberry cotton candy scent it's like sweet yet nice and fruity with the berries in it 
really, really delicious. That smells fabulous. Okay, let me get into this next bag over here, or as Cartman would say, over y'all. Can you come over y'all? Let me do this. All right. Let me unbag this one here. Oh, looks like the scent shots are mostly in here. Alrighty. Oh, awesome. Oh, wait, this one's in his own bag. Okay. Oh, this is like the sand kind of one, I think. Yeah. Okay, this is honeydew. So, this is another reason I wanted to do this um, haul is because I had seen these go up and I wasn't exactly sure what they were. They looked interesting. It's like a, it's a tart, but the consistency is like sand. And you can kind of see it there. Definitely interesting. So I was like, well, I've never seen that before. And I think she, she says that you can like smash them into your warmer. Maybe if you're having a bad day, just put in there and mash it in there. Maybe fun for kids, you know, hopefully that they're old enough that they wouldn't be tempted to eat it. Ooh, that's very, very slippery. slippery. Oh, the fragrance was, uh -huh. okay. That is a very strong, um, what is this? Honeydew? That's a very strong honeydew scent. I would almost say a tad like artificially smelling to me on cold but once again like I said with everything you gotta melt it and see how it smells when it's warm because a cold sniff is just that it's a cold sniff review but you gotta melt it but it, it definitely is a strong scent and I am intrigued by this um, little sand, this the form that is in which is kind of like sand oh man I still have it all stuck all over me here already here this next one here is syrup eggnog pancakes and I also like that she does pour dates on here because that means I don't have to do any work for it um, her stuff comes out of the scent shot cups pretty easily. Look, there's even glitter there on the bottom and all this on the top. What is this? Syrup. I love her syrup, say, her syrup fragrance, her pancakes fragrance, all that kind of stuff is always just so good. Really, really good. I, I cannot really smell the eggnog a whole heck of a lot in there, but may, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, but it's pretty good. And then you can also see here what I like is she's got glitter here on this middle row. You know, so she must pour this middle thing of this bottom layer of wax and she puts glitter in it and pours the top layer. And I really appreciate that attention to detail. There's glitter everywhere in this thing, but that's the first time I think I've ever seen glitter on the layer in, on the layered part right there. It almost reminds me of like a piece of cake. You know, like with cake, you get like the icing in the middle. So that kind of reminds me of. All right, this next one here is Pink Sands Cotton Candy Waffle Cone. And, um... You know what, I've, I've smelled Pink Sands before from Yankee. I don't remember if I really liked it per se. I mean, I think it was okay. That's very crisp looking on the bottom. Look how shiny that is. Very nice. Oh yeah, that smells good. Okay, so that must be what Pink Sands smells like. I think from here I can mostly smell Pink Sands. And maybe, and then the and then the, um, the cotton candy, the waffle cone, I'm having a little bit of a harder time picking out, but that Pink Sands smells pretty good. I can see why people like it so much. All right, this next one here is Country Berry, Sh Country Berry Sugar Cookie. Sorry, camera's not cooperating with me. I think this is like Poison Ivy, um, I think is what it is. Wasn't she a character in one of the Batman movies played by Uma Thurman one time? Once again, glitter on the bottom and on the top, so I, once, I definitely appreciate all that glitter. Oh, that's good. That's good. You know what? This to me almost kind of smells like a pancake y type fragrance. Like I know it's sugar cookie, but um, it's a, it seems like a very thick, doughy kind of fragrance. I really, really love that one. Okay. Ooh, this one. Oh no, this is another one of these. I don't know. This is another one of the ones in the sand, I think. Alrighty here. This one is blueberry cheesecake. Ah. Oh, I got it under my fingernail. Oh, cute. There's stars in this one. Look at that. And it's like, once again, you can see the consistency of it kind of like right there. Very interesting, huh? Very, very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen any other vendor do this consistency either. That's a nice blueberry cheesecake. It's really nice. Very creamy. Very nice blueberry. Very nice blueberry. I would say not my favorite blueberry that I've ever smelled on code, but it's, it's, still, it's still a good one. Um, so, yep, definitely looking forward to melting that. I'm going to have to retype it up there. I don't want this to come open. I do appreciate that she sent it in its own little separate bag in case it did open. So that's super nice. This next one is peach strawberry baguette. And I really like these colors too. The yellow, red, and the green glitter on the bottom once again. Oh, I think it's that baguette uh, fragrance that I'm probably getting first. It's like, it's, I'm assuming, I don't know if there's a difference between a baguette fragrance and just like a bread fragrance, but yeah, it's kind of like, it's a very strong bread fragrance on cold. 
And um, I'm having a harder time picking out the fruit scents in there on code. It's mostly to me just kind of like a bread scent, but it's it's a really, really nice. So I'm hoping on warm that it the other ones come through. This one is cotton candy peppermint cupcake. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that is just so oh it looks like teeth. I mean I know it's teeth, but if you look at it, it's like you can see like the indentations here, like in the teeth that actually make them look like real molars. That is so cute. She had another one that had like the teeth, I think, like coming out of it even more, but I believe that was sold out by the time I got to the website. So I want you guys to take a good look at this just because it's so different. Look how weird and different and cool that is. Kind of creepy and super cute. So that's what that one looks like here. This is, oh, cotton candy peppermint cupcake. Yep. Yeah, this is a good one. Um, that peppermint is definitely the standout in here. And then the cotton candy. I'm having a harder time picking up the cupcake, but who cares when it looks like this? That is so freaky. Oh, it's scary. Get away. Get away. He's going to eat me. Oh my God. It's a monster. All right. This is the last one I got here and I like the spider web in there. And this one is orange. Oh, mango sugar cookie. I think I wanted to get two of these, but there was only one left by the time that I got there. Oh, wow. This is a winner. I mean, they're all good. This one is a winner. Holy crap. I mean, it's like really nice mango and a perfect like blend between the mango and the sugar cookie. You can get both. It's that is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So I hope that she puts that one um, up again as well. So, all right, you guys, that is it. I would have gotten more, but by the time I got to the website and I only got to the website, maybe like 10 minutes after she listed the restock. I mean, this stuff was flying out. Like, people were just going nuts and then she completely sold out. So, hey, Brandy, if you, um, you know, are going to keep this business going for the next couple years, I will be a consistent customer of yours. I think your tarts are creative. Um, they're very cute. I like the theme of your shop and they throw well and I like your scent blends. I've gotten some scent blends from you that I haven't gotten from other vendors. And it's like, um, I think would you have like a maple and orange, no maple and maple orange scent that I really loved. And you also, the pan that I got from you that was in maple pink sugar orange juice cake. That one is hands down one of my all time favorite tarts I've ever melted. So yeah, I'm going to be fighting to get your stuff at every restock. Um, I'll tell you that much. I love it. And uh, you, you, however, I do have now this gremlin in my house. What am I going to do with this? Like, where can I put this thing so it doesn't come out in the middle of the night and like, ah, ah, like on my face or something? Hmm, maybe I might have one of my pets watch it. I'll give it to my cat, Sam. I'll tell her it's her, her duty to watch that and keep it away from me. She needs to do something to earn her place in this house. I mean, she doesn't do anything. She gets free food. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a good day. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.